are you writing UTME, SSC, JUPEB, any of the A-levels exams, or you just feel like you love science and you want to know more about physics, chemistry, biology, and the likes, then this is the right video for you. So in this video, I will be teaching you the series of topics in physics, chemistry, and biology. So I'm going to be starting with waves and the classification of wave in this episode. And I'm going to break the topics down into series for you to understand it better. So we're going to take our time to break it down. And at the end of each classes, we're going to be solving series of questions. So pay close attention, get your pen ready and get your books ready. Do not just watch this video for fun. Get your pen ready and get your book ready. So it's like bringing the classroom to you wherever you are. So now we're going to be talking about wave and the classification of wave. First is what is a wave? A, a wave, wave is defined as a disturbance that travels through a medium transferring energy from one point to another without causing any permanent displacement of the medium itself. So when you're talking about wave, imagine you have a droplet of water on the surface of a still water. There's a circular pattern that you see on the surface of that water. That circular pattern you see is called the ripples of water. Now I'm going to show you a simulation by FET to show you how wave pattern is formed. I'm going to click the stats on the tab. Then you see the droplets of the water, then you see the pattern. Now notice something. From the point of that droplet, the wave start moving out from the point of the droplet from that source, then moves out to other parts of the water. And this shows you that wave can transfer energy from one point to another. So that's the definition. You can also generate wave in a rope. You can generate wave, even the way I'm talking, I'm using the particles in here to communicate. And that is why you can hear the sound because there are some particles in the air that are carrying the wave pattern as I'm speaking. So now when you're talking about wave, we have three forms in which we classify wave, especially for you to understand this class. The first part is, do you require a material medium to generate a wave? That is the first part. So. A a, whenever you require a material medium to generate a wave, we call it mechanical wave. Would I have generated the water wave if I probably do not have water? I believe that's not possible. So based on this classification, you can have mechanical wave and you can have what we call an electromagnetic waves. What are the two types of waves now? Mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. A mechanical wave is defined as a wave that requires material medium for its propagation. You can take a pause and write, it's a wave that requires material medium for its propagation. So examples of this wave, just the one I just showed you, water wave, um, sound wave, I need to strike something before you hear the sound. So before I produce that wave, I need to probably eat something. So a wave generated in a rope. So you can have two friends holding a rope and vibrating the rope up and down, and they can also generate a wave. So a wave generated in a rope in a string is also known as mechanical waves because you require material medium to generate those waves. There are some set of waves that you do not require material medium to generate, and those sets of waves are called electromagnetic waves. And these are the examples of electromagnetic waves, starting from radio waves to microwaves to infrared waves to visible light to ultraviolet to X-rays and to gamma rays. These electromagnetic waves have different properties you need to know their properties one they all move at the speed of light in here so they move the speed at which they move is three times stairs per eight meter per second another thing you need to know about them is that they do not carry charges so they are not deflected whenever they are being transferred in here and they can move through vacuum and whenever they are moving in here they can change their frequency or their wavelength the one with the highest frequency is gamma ray why the one with the least frequency is radio wave? Why the one with the highest wavelength is radio wave? Why the one with the least wavelength is gamma ray? So you need to know how this goes. So remember Ramai Vux G. The radio wave has the highest wavelength, gamma ray has the least wavelength. As you move from RA to G, you understand that. So that's one way. So I said we can classify waves based on is does it require material medium or does it not require material medium? Another way we can classify wave is is the motion of the vibration and the motion of the wave. So when I disturb the water, you see the pattern in which the wave follows. So watch this simulation and you see, as you drop that droplet, the water keeps going up and down, up and down, while the wave keeps traveling out. So we have two types of waves based on the direction of the motion of particles 
and the direction of motion of the wave. So the direction of vibration, when it is perpendicular to the direction of the wave, then we have what we call a transverse wave. When the direction of motion of the particles or vibration is parallel or in, along the same line with the direction of the wave, then we have what we call a longitudinal wave. So sound wave is an example of a longitudinal wave. Let's watch this simulation. Now you can see the way the particles are vibrating to and fro, moving forth and back at the click of the speaker. As that sound wave is coming out, the particles keep moving forth and back about their equilibrium position. So this is called a longitudinal wave. So now I, I define wave and I gave you two categories of wave. First are mechanical and electromagnetic wave. Second are transverse and longitudinal wave. So transverse wave is a type of wave in which the direction of vibration is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the wave. While longitudinal wave is a, is a type of wave in which the direction of vibration is along the same line as the direction of motion of the wave. So the final part that we're going to have for classification is progressive and standing wave. You're going to have a progressive wave when there is no restriction. So you're going to see that and you're going to have a standing wave when there is restriction. So you generate a wave and the wave travels and strikes the restriction, then comes back, then keeps going forth and back. That is called a standing wave. So but for a progressive wave, when you generate the wave, the wave travels out and dies down. So that is another category of wave. So we have progressive wave, which is a wave generated without restriction and it transfers its energy out. While we have a standing or stationary wave, which is a wave generated with restriction and that travels forth and back. So now let me summarize everything I've said. So I said a wave is a disturbance that travels through medium with energy without causing any permanent displacement of the medium itself. And I said we have three classes of wave based on medium. Do you require a material medium or not? Then based on the direction of propagation, then based on restriction. So those are the three classes that we have. So give me three examples of mechanical waves in the comment section. Then I'm going to show you, you, you need to have your jam pass question or the past questions you use for your exams in order to study all of these things I've been saying. So watch out for next class where i'll be talking about the terms that we use in categorizing waves so make sure you have written this note make sure you take your time pause when you need to go through it pick up your textbook compare the notes try to have understanding of the simulation and thanks to fed for me allowing us to use the video for demonstration and please we want to do this for your own sake we want you to learn from the comforts of your own so please do where to subscribe do where to leave comments. Your comments is what we are going to work on that will make us to do better and do more with time. So we love you and we will see you in the next episode.